Hello everyone, so I finally did it. This is something I've requested Datatone to implement long time ago, which is a countdown for the media. So I've made it, it's here. So I bought together some code and, uh, in .NET. Um, I have a demo here to do some videos and the countdown what i did was this just this simple piece countdown for the media this is useful especially when you are working with a team lights sound cameras and you have a long video to play to run and everybody is waiting for the end so you have to give a countdown there's no way to do that on natively on watch out I've requested maybe to put it here next to this one a countdown well it has to be implemented somehow because if, it, if you have several <clears throat> videos playing at the same time which one is it showing there well it should be maybe a property of the video maybe you should include here show on countdown something like that well what I have is uh, very simple. What you have to do is you create an output. I called it countdown. It's a TCP. It's an internal loop. The port is 1234 TCP. And then you create the queues. The queue you send, uh, you just send the time of the, of the media. So if you hover on the media, you'll see eight minutes, seven seconds. That's what you put here. Eight minutes, seven seconds. The same here, 25 seconds. Zero, zero, 2.25, so this is 25 seconds. This is always on top. You can minimize it. It's here with the law, dot watch out logo. So if you don't need it, just minimize it. If you need it, it's on top. It's as simple as this. You have you put the, <clears throat> the key on the beginning of the timeline. And if you give a play, you'll see it starts to count down. Eight minutes is a long time. We, we are not going to wait for so long. But uh, when it gets to 10 minutes, it, the, no, the lettering turns red. If you, for some reason, want to do something else, the thing is it keeps, keeps on running. So you can reset it and stop it. Let's try it out on a small one, on a small video. So, like... This is a 25 seconds movie. Let's see if it's accurate. It's pretty accurate. So 16 seconds, 17. We'll see that the video ends with a zero. We can give a countdown to everybody else on the team. Yeah, that's it. This is as simple as this. Small videos, you don't really need it, but when it's a long sequence of videos, or <clears throat> it is, this doesn't have to be the size of the video, it can be the size of several videos put together. You count, you, you sum all the time and put the countdown here. The thing is just triggering this small bit on the timeline. Uh, I hope that uh, Watch Out is watching this and uh, please implement something better than this on Watch Out natively. That's all. Thank you for watching.